Hey mi gente, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maria Rodriguez. Today, uh, I'm just creating my favorite go-to makeup look. Um, this is the look I do whenever I'm in a hurry and I just wanna hurry up and finish getting ready. With this tutorial, I will be answering 10 fun facts about me. Excuse my nail. So you guys can get to know me and know a little bit more about me. If you wanna learn this simple tutorial, then just keep on watching. So let's get started with this video. I already have my eyebrows and my base is set. For my eyeliner, I will be going in with this Ingla eyeliner in the color 77. And using the brush, which looks like this, it's just an angled brush. And while doing my eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first question, which is, what's my full name? Okay, my full name, it's Maria Guadalupe Rodriguez. There is actually a story of why I was named that way. So, I was my mom's first child and turns out that when she was giving birth, I was a big baby. And since I was a big baby, there was complications with my mom's childbirth. And I guess my mom was really having a hard time having me. I really don't know much details of what was going on my mom just told me that I was a big baby and there was complications while she was giving birth to me so my grandma promised that if my mom came out okay and I came out okay she promised to the Virgin Mary that she was gonna name me Maria Guadalupe Therefore, everything came out good and birth, thank God. My grandma and my mom kept their promise to name me Maria Guadalupe. And that's the reason behind my name. Okay, my eyeliner is all done and sharp and ready to cut somebody out of their life. I'm just kidding. If you guys ever mess up on your wing, you can always grab a little bit of concealer and an angle brush like this and just clean up after just to make it a little bit more sharp much better for primer i'm just gonna go in with the professional pore primer by benefit you already know this is my go-to primer for foundation, I'm gonna go with my Gold 2 Hourglass foundation and I am in the shade Golden 10. The second question is, where am I from? So I was born in a pueblo called Tangancicuaro, Michoacan. So shout out to everyone who's from Tangancicuaro, Michoacan. But I was raised in Kansas City. Kansas. I've been here a whole lifetime. I came here from Michoacan when I was only, I believe, six years old. Where are you guys from? Do I have any other people that are from Tangas, as we call it? <laughs> it's always funny when I hear people call Tangancicuaro Tangas. Ever since I was little when I would hear grown-ups say, Hey, are you going to Tangas this year? And I was like, Tangas? I only know one thing named Tangas. What you mean Tangas? And I'm blending my foundation with the Juco sponge. This one right here. I love this. It's the job done. Cheaper alternative to the beauty blender. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the color natural beige. When is your birthday? So my birthday, I was born 
on November 14, which means I am a Scorpio. So I'm just gonna be bronzing with the Butter Bronzer by Physician's Formula, which is my go-to bronzer and it smells so good. So the next question is how many siblings do I have? I have a total of eight siblings, including myself. I know, we almost can do a whole soccer team with them. We're just missing three more. I'm the oldest out of the eight. So first I was born, then my mom had two twins after me, two twin boys. So the twins are Eric and Cesar. And after they were born, my sister was born, Jamie. And then after Jamie, um, is my little brother Jared. He is the youngest out of the siblings my mom and dad had together because they were divorced. Um, then my mom went to have um, have three more other children, which is my sister Dianara, then another boy named Jaden, and another boy named Anthony. He is the youngest out of the bunch and I do have a stepsister my dad raised another girl when he was in this other relationship ever since she was I believe six so I do consider her my sister I guess you could call her my stepsister and her name is Monse so if I was to include her we would be nine siblings in total but blood related were eight and to bronze i used the morphe m523 brush right here and now i'm gonna sculpt my nose and for that i'm just gonna be using this blending brush by morphe to contour my nose So yeah, I have a big family and I love them. Going in with the Mario Badescu spray, I'm just gonna do one round, spray some on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna help sync all the products together. Just by tapping. I'm going to bake with my favorite translucent loose setting powder by Laura Mercier. The next question is, do you have any kids? Yes, I do have one amazing daughter. Her name is Genesis and she is eight years old. Like, I love that little kid so much. Like if it wasn't for her, sometimes I wonder where I would be because like, I feel like she has saved my life. And she motivates me to want to be a better person, a better mom. Her name is Genesis Angelique. And I just love her name so much. Like the reason I chose Genesis was because when I looked up that name, it means new beginning. So I was like, that's perfect. What better way to name your child than new beginning? It's also a Bible name. It's the first chapter of the Bible. So that's another reason why I did it. And then her middle name is Angelique. Um, her dad, originally wanted to name her Angelina because I guess he had like a big crush on Angelina Jolie but I wanted something original 
so I told him, hey, Angelique is not such a common name. Let's name her Angelique. Um, and the reason I saw Angelique is because it also stands for Angel. And I got it from the actress Angelique Boyer. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know her. She came out in Teresa. She came out in a lot of good novelas. She is gorgeous. Oh, and I first saw her in Rebelde. Who remembers Rebelde? And that's where I got my daughter's name from. Blush, I'm gonna pick up this Milani Bake Blush in the color Dulce Pink right here. For my blush, I'm gonna be using this brush right here. My next question is, did you go to school? Yes, I did finish high school. And I did went on to continue my education in college. And I did graduate from college. Um, I actually got an associate's degree in science. And I got that degree with my daughter and going to work. So don't let anybody tell you just because you have a kid, you can't do anything because you can't. I am a living proof of that. Like I said, my daughter was my motivation to do a lot of things. And I'm just gonna take off that excess powder. Now that I'm done baking. Highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm Resi. I'm Resi highlighter. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But let's go with it. And for my inner corner, I'm going to be using the Morphe M43 brush right here. How did you got into makeup is my next question. And that's actually really interesting because ever since I can remember, I've always loved makeup. Like when I was in, I wasn't allowed to use too much makeup in when I was in middle school. But once I hit high school... I was 15 already, so I could use as much makeup as I wanted. <laughs> and I started experimenting with makeup. Like, I would actually go into my mom's makeup and just get her makeup and start playing with it. I'm also gonna be using this Morphe M501 brush right here to put it on my cheek. Remember being in high school, I will always match my eyeshadow to whatever I was wearing. Like if I was wearing purple, I will wear purple eyeshadow. That's when I started experimenting with eyeshadows. And if I would wear black, I would try to do a black smoky eye. If I was wearing turquoise, turquoise eyeshadow. Like I didn't know what I was doing, but I love playing with it. I love the pretty colors of eyeshadow. It was a trial and error many times. I remember I would sometimes also buy the cheapest like dollar makeup. Like I was wearing dollar foundation for a while while I was in high school just because I wasn't working. So I really didn't have the money to purchase my own makeup. So when I couldn't grab my mom's makeup, I would just get a dollar and just buy a dollar makeup foundation. And it was a cream one. And then YouTube came along. Oh my God gosh youtube saved me so many times like i remember for my prom i looked up a youtube video and that's how i did my makeup for prom i did my own makeup for prom my own hair um it was so much fun i remember me and my cousins and some friends were getting ready in my room and it because we were gonna take pictures it was so much fun I miss high school so much, honestly. I love this highlighter so much. It's It gives you like a wet look. Can you see it? Yeah, I just started practicing and practicing and looking up YouTube tutorials. And that's how I learn. And you, you, the most important key to doing your makeup is practice. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. For eyelashes, I'm gonna go with this eyelashes. This is these are my go-to eyelashes. Um, they're by Kiss and number eleven, and I feel like they're natural. So to me, they're natural. So I feel like they 
looks so good on my eye shape so i wanted to share some fun facts about me besides answering those questions and one of them um are my eyelashes i don't think you guys can tell on camera but lashes only curl i don't know if you guys can tell but they only curl from the outside i don't know they're not really visible on camera i feel like but from here all the way to here is where they're just straight it's so weird i don't know how that happened um like i remember one time i had an oopsie <laughs> i was um curling my eyelashes and all of a sudden my eyelashes from the bottom got cut in both places and i didn't realize it until i saw my eyelash curl and i was like no that are gonna take forever to go and i was so sad i was like no so i remember i remember they took a long time to grow so i don't know if they went if when they started growing out grew out curly which is freaking weird like i wish why not just have all my eyelashes curly you know just find just the outside that's so weird for my lash glue i will be using the kiss strip lash adhesive this one right here it dries down clear i'm sorry the glue just gets in places so while my eyelashes are drying down a little bit i'm just gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and i do have long eyelashes pretty long i remember before wearing false eyelashes i didn't believe in them i would be like nah my eyelashes are already long enough i don't need them who needs fake eyelashes not me that was my attitude and then i started wearing them just like two years ago two and a half years ago and i was like oh my god that makes such a difference what was i doing wasting my time all this time not wearing falsies like falsies really change the look up like they make such a difference so once the eyelash glue is kind of tacky i first start off by placing them in the middle first with a little tweezer and then slowly just start fixing them now with my knit matte liquid liner right here i'm gonna go and hide any glue that may be there so just go over my black line i had originally just to hide any glue sometimes foundation will get in my wing so sometimes i'll have to go again just go over it just a little bit on my top lashes i would be using this tart tardius mascara and for the lower ones i would use the telescopic mascara that is my go-to for my bottom eyelashes just because it just singles each eyelash out and makes it even longer than they are actually on. another fun fact about me is my ear right here see this one is just a regular ear this one's flat regular flat so what's funny about that and i just felt like i had to throw it out there as a fun fact just because if somebody knows notices it i don't want them coming for me and bullying me that is something i've always had some people don't even notice it until i point it out um and some people do i forgot to go to do my eyeliner and i'm gonna go with the urban decay 24 7 glad on eye pencil right here in the color perversion and i am not the only one to have it from my family okay it's it's an ear that's passing on from generation to generation let me tell you why um my dad has his ear like that um then he had me and i have the ear like that and then i had my daughter and she has her ear like that so like i said it's an ear that's going from 
generation to generation so i think that's the cool thing about it i've never been ashamed of it is it weird is it funny probably so and you already know the deal once i put my eyeliner on i will always go with some black eyeshadow and set my eyeliner just so it doesn't smudge throughout the day or anything like that makes it last longer too makes it look more intense And do I get to my eye contacts? That's probably the only annoying thing about it. And I'm just using a flat brush for this. This is the Anastasia brush and number 20. So just a regular one like that. See how long it makes them? So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend my upper lashes to my falsies just to hide them. Just so I don't have two sets of eyelashes, you know what I mean? And last but not least, I'm gonna do my lip. And I'm just gonna be using the Jeffree Star um, matte lipstick in the color Gemini. What I like about this look is that you can pair it with a red lipstick because you have no eyeshadow, so you could literally pair it up with anything. You have no color that you have to match with, if you know what I mean. Um, so it's perfect. I usually like. My go-to colors are nude colors, um, but you could literally, sometimes when I don't want to do eyeshadow, I'll just, and I'm wearing a red shirt, I'll just pair it with a red shirt. Any other color shirt, nude. Um, a burgundy shirt, I'll look for a dark color. You know what I mean? Just pair it with anything. And last but not least, my last fun fact about me is that I can roll my R's. I've been picked out by my family because of it. Like they try to teach me how to do it. And ever since I was little, ever since I can't remember, they always try to teach me how to do it. And it's just something I can't do. And I know how to do it. I know, I know that you have to stick your tongue on top and just ugh, but I just can't do it take my eyelashes uh, just set them so they don't go crazy with this great lash by Maybelline clear gel and they would try to teach me how to do it like and then they would tease me because I couldn't do it. And they would tell me, hey, Lupe, because they used to, my family calls me Lupe. They would be like, say caro, say perro, say caro, say perro, say caro, say perro. I'm like, I can't. And yeah, like, look, I'm going to try, okay? It's like a broken car. I give up. I can't. I just can't. Don't forget the last step, which is my all time favorite setting spray Urban Decay All Nighter right here. I love this setting spray, it really makes your makeup last. I love it. Well, mi gente, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy watching me create my go-to simple glam uh, and also enjoy learning 10 fun facts about me. Um, if you did end up liking this tutorial, uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. I love reading you guys' comments. So yeah, until next time.